Hi everyone. In my last video, we took a look at what is the X modules add-on in the UI Vision RPA toolset. Um, we also went through how to install the X modules add-on on the Mac OS operating system. And in that video, we saw how, you know, when installing on the Mac OS, we have to jump through some security hoops to allow the X modules add-on to access the file system so that we can then send, save our UI Vision macros as well as other files in the local hard disk instead of the, um, the browser storage. Now, file access is only one out of three submodules in the X modules add-on. Today, we are just going to take a deeper look at what the other two submodules are and also the steps to go through to complete the X modules add-on installation on the Mac OS operating system. So without further ado, let's start. Now, if you have not opened your UI Vision RPA tool, please open it now by clicking on this uh, browser extension. And when you click on it, um, you would see your UI Vision tool appear. What you want to do next is to click on the settings button on the UI Vision tool. What we want to do then is go to the X module setting, uh, as you can see here. And by clicking it, you'll see that we have a file access module already uh, installed. If I click on the test it, the status comes back as installed. And as you can see, um, below the file access module, we also have two other modules and that's what we're going to work on next. So we go to the real time X module and click test it. And you will see that there is a security prompt saying that the host program has not been, uh, it cannot be verified. Okay, and of course the message comes back saying that there's a problem there. And what we do is we go to um, our system preferences and security and privacy settings. And we'll see that there is a message there um, prompting us to allow the X modules to run. Okay, go back to uh, UI Vision, settings, and now there is a prompt which allows us to um, open the application this time. Now you would notice that there is a second pop-up here um, that says that it needs to run Cantu CV host, which is the third module in the X modules uh, component and we will need to enable this later. So let's click cancel for now. And if we go back to the X module settings, we will see that the real user module has been installed. And the desktop automation needs to be installed now, and that is the CV host that we saw earlier. Okay, if we click on the test again, you'll see that the pop-up again pops up. And now what we need to do is to go again to system preferences. We've done this a few times now. Um, and within system preferences, we can go to security and privacy. And now you see that there is a prompt for Cantu CV host, which is the third program that needs to be allowed to execute. Okay, we've done that. Now go back to UI vision, again, go into the settings. And now there's another pop-up for Cantu CV host that we need to allow to run. So we click open and if we go to the X module setting now, you'll see that now we can see the desktop automation X module has been installed. Clicking on test it, it gives us a message that says that it's been done. And real user module, if we test it again, it'll run. File access module, test it again and it's done. And this is all we need to do to enable the full X modules to run, uh, to be completely installed in, um, on our map operating system.